<laughs> yep, that's a hundred percent uh me today in the world. Ah, oh, that's good fun. Hello everyone, today is the, oh my name is Viano, and today is the 3rd of May 2021, uh, it is the first stream of the month, uh, I don't have any real like special occasion but I'm surprised that it's already May, like, legit, I, I don't think I've been doing these streams for that long but I guess like doing them once a week, and I've done like, uh, Probably looks. Is it 16 or like 17 now? That's a lot. Thank you for the follow, Fierce TV. Sure. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, but uh, I have my almost finished bottle of uh, reconstituted Mount Franklin trademark water. Um, is it is it even real water? I don't know. It tastes good when you got it like chilled to like 2 degrees. Is it Labor Day today? What? No one told me? Is it actually Labor Day, or is this like American Labor Day? In Queensland. That doesn't count. Queensland's not a real place. Ah, oh, went to went to work. Yeah, exactly, exactly. We get in October, which, granted. I don't mind October, because you get things like the Queen's birthday, you got Anzac Day, which unfortunately fell on a Sunday, so can't, can't get it there. You get Easter, you get all these breaks in the first half of the year, but then here comes, here comes, you know, everything after July, no break. So, you know, I don't mind it being October. Labor Day in March. See, March is too early. I don't understand. Uh, Queen's birthday is coming up. When is the Queen's birthday? Uh, this is very important. The official holiday for the Queen's birthday is the second Monday in June, which is bound to be coming up very soon. In fact, I'm going to be streaming on a Monday. So, I guess I will have that special... Queen's birthday stream. That'll be good fun. Uh, anyways, let us jump right into the game. Uh, so I may have fixed the uh, the bad controller thing. Dolphin seems to just have handled uh, my controller fine if I have the speaker enabled. But I've got the speaker toned down because I have a controller that does not emulate the speaker very, very well. Um, so, uh, just attempting the challenge will show you something about your character. Alright, so, but everything's all good. Uh, you, again, talk to Purple Toad, and he'll just say, Here's a letter from Princess Peach. Hope you all enjoy this gift. Oh, five whole one up mushrooms. Hey, look how smooth that mouse cursor is. It's crazy. I've been missing a cursor this smooth. So, that's good. It had something to do with the speaker being off. I know, right? So, eh. Turn it on, I, yeah, again, turn down the volume. Uh, so, at the end of the last uh, stream, I uh, specifically alluded to beating Bowser, such that I want to unlock this, the Purple Coin Mission. So, let the sirens roar. Uh, every one of those three star levels includes a purple star level. And each purple coin level is a little something different. In this case, this first one is, I believe, a no time limit. Yes. Just get the hundred coins. Uh, this is a reasy, reasonably good uh, replacement for the traditional hundred coin stuff that's in Mario 64 and Mario Sunshine, where in both of those, there's a lot of stars. Oh, sorry, there's a lot of coins in the levels, but you gotta somehow find a hundred of them. Uh, I hate this part of it though, where like there's. Um, Oh, I should have spun that. I should have spun that. Uh, that's okay. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, they put these these purple coins uh, in these flight paths, and it's like, uh, okay. Uh, this is a reasonably straightforward purple coin level, just to give you give you the gist of how it is. Uh, 
Uh, but, yeah, they, they're honestly not this simple all the time. But, it, yeah, it gets you, gets you into it. Uh, since, of course, this is just a comet, you've seen the level, basically. Uh, so, really all this is, is just make sure that you follow the bars, pick up 100 coins. And then, uh, yeah, just, just rinse and repeat. So, uh, I've had a pretty exciting week. You know, change of... It's not really a change of season, but definitely, uh, when you move out of March through April and into May, you know, winter really hits hard. Uh, so we've had some rather cold weather in Sydney for a while. Um, not too glummy, not too wet, but just, like, kind of windy and generally not that warm. So, uh, it's fine. I do miss the sun. And the, the biggest thing, I know, I hate, I hate the cold. And I, the one thing I really hate, I hate it being dark at, like, 5 o'clock. It's like I'm doing, like, meetings now, and it's just like, wow, my room is just absolutely pitch black at, like, 4.45. Uh, I believe that star appeared at the end, which would appear if I don't do anything from here. Yeah, there it is. But yeah, no, I, I, that's the bit I had about winter and stuff. It's not, it's not the, the cold weather per se, it's the late days. That's why I would love to be, if it wasn't for the, the, the humidity, I would love the equator. Well, I finished this bottle of water, which means you're going to hear a very obnoxious sound of me throwing a water bottle into a bin across the other side of the room. I missed. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so, uh, now these purple coin comets, they only, well rather, they, they appear just at the same rate as uh, regular comets. But kind of annoyingly, yeah, you've really got no idea when they're going to appear. Uh, for the time being, uh, until I have gotten every other star in the game, they're not going to always appear. So that means I'm going to just continue on with stars normally, and if I see a purple comet, I get to do it, sure. But I'm most likely going to be going back for them, or if I see another one on the way. Uh, otherwise, yeah, it's going to be another stream where I pick up a bunch more stars. I'm going to try and aim for another 24. We got star number three of Gold Leaf Galaxy. Did I say four? I meant three. Uh, but yeah, it's been a reasonably exciting week. I've definitely been enjoying it. When it rains, it pours. Uh, I found that my biggest uh, thing with the past week, maybe two weeks, uh, was uh, getting used to uh, Mac OS. Yes. It's a bizarre operating system that you may have heard of, uh, developed by a reasonably small company called Apple. Um, there's a lot of a lot of strange things uh, to me. I find the the biggest question marks are uh, window management and particularly like the the scope of programs. Um, Windows has a hilarious like name. I don't know why I've come over here. Okay. Oh man, the yellow's real. Um, but yeah, I, I find the uh, the most... Oh, that's the reason why I've come over here, because try coming up here. Yeah, that's that's not gonna happen. Okay. Uh, isn't there a... Oh, wait, you go up the back here. Got it. I remember. And then there's a, there's a bee right here. So the gimmick is that because the bee is lighter, the bee can fly and land on top of uh, those clouds and the flowers. But you cannot get them wet. You gotta watch out for the bugaboom. He will get you. <laughs> that was a big question mark. Uh, here's a fun, uh, like, one that I don't understand. Who legitimately does this level? Me. I have to do it. Can I, can I get a... I, 
I, I look over and I go, wow, wow, am I sure glad that I've got people moderating my chat, because, oh boy, right, right on cue, right on cue, there's a person who's just there to promote his low website, his lowly website, where he's just trying to sell a product, and that product is Twitch followers. I'm, I'm, I'm doing dreadful, but I'm also, like, intentionally, not intentionally playing bad, but just, you know, just and bad. Oh my gosh, there were two of them! Oh my gosh, you guys were right. Jeez. Yeah, I take a back one. Oh, camera. Just every single time. Alright. So, doing this legit is supposed to light the platforms. Kind of. And you're over here, and you gotta watch the rain. But because the bee lasts so long in flight, against all known laws of aviation, magic. I'm curious if people have been, like, sicking, uh... Do people, like, sick, like, Twitch bots against, like, channels? Is that a thing people do? I'm curious, I'm curious if, like, it's been intentional in any way. Uh, I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional shortcutter. This, this is a hilarious one. It's like, what? Did they really expect, like, people to, like, go around the legit way? I don't know. There's a lot of, like, hmm, really? This is one of my favorite bosses in the game. I don't care. So the, uh, the nice thing is that you get, you've got your bee. He's shooting like water bubbles at you. And uh, if you're not careful, you will lose the bee. But it's actually a kind of nice, just like, you know, heads up if you do have the, the bee. I don't think you need this. Well, now you need, now you need it. So if, if uh, you were smart and uh, didn't think of just like, you know, ditching the bee like that, you can just jump up and just get him, like, straight up with the bee. I don't know why I forgot the... And bonus points for being able to do it twice. Now I'm angry! Uh... Do you trust? Oh, no, you slide off that. Oh. I don't know. Uh, ask how I'm on the, the side of the platform. I don't know. Kind of interesting that, like, it doesn't particularly utilize the B. I like this boss, it's good fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. Hold on. Is it my favorite boss in the game? I don't know. But, it's good fun. I enjoy it. Oh, wahoo. So here's a question, what are your guys' favorite bosses in this game? Because there's so many bosses in this game and the sequel is just like... There's a crazy amount. Oh, I gotta do the cosmic color. Really? Really? Alright, well. Uh, I am gradually approaching everything in this game. I mean, if you go for just comets, there's probably about like 20 or so stars left in comets, and there's only 46 stars left in the game, so. I'm getting close to seeing everything, but there's still a lot of comets to go. Uh, Baldegeist is my favorite. It's a bit sadistic, but I can understand the choice. Uh, so this is an interesting uh, race because uh, it's that level that I just played, but uh, no B, which makes it good fun. Uh, I may have just jump on Shadamari. He's got the head start, but what he doesn't have is uh, 
Oh my gosh, these diagonal ledges. He doesn't have the long jump. Oh, okay, he does have the long jump. I take it back. Oh, oh gosh, no. Nah, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. There he is. You know what's the worst part? Mario dies. This is probably one of the harder, um, Papa Coins, I think, in the game. Because he legit, like, he doesn't give you any... He doesn't throw any punches. Pull any, hold any punches. He doesn't give you an opportunity. So you've got to figure out how to skip something. Uh, how about skip winning? One, two, three, four, five. Who needs to spin though, like really? Me, because I can't aim. Oh my gosh. The worst part is that I, I think I've got a sneeze. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. First try. Underground Gunner. I just looked at one. Yeah, underground Gunner. That's, is that the official name of that guy? Oh, it totally is. Undergrunt Gunner. I think that's the last boss in the game that we haven't seen apart from the, uh, the repeat of, uh, Dino Piranha. That's a bit interesting. Okay, speaking of, uh, things we haven't seen, here's a galaxy that, uh, people remember and then, oh my gosh, my nose is just, like, blocked now. Oh jeez, I'm gonna be like, eh, hello everyone. Ah, so going off to Guppy. I do, I, I like this galaxy, but until, uh, yeah, no. When we do purple coins, it's just gonna be like, oh my gosh. And you know what? I'm calling it now. The purple coins are gonna appear in this, like, the screen. And I'll just go. Like, it's such a pain. Because, like, all the missions are nice and contained, and then you just, like, you do that one, and that just takes the longest amount of time, because... You got this, like, this is another water level, it's another just wide open chunk of water, and there's precisely a hundred coins. I think, I think there's precisely a hundred coins just around it. It's just like, oh, it takes its time. If you want it back, you must swim through the rings! Uh, so like all good uh, swimming challenges, oh, you gotta go for it. Uh, but you can pick up this red shell, which helps you go along. This is a cool shark. I like this cool shark. Interesting that the rings go backwards. As in you start at 8. I love Superman 64. Don't get me started about Superman 64, bro. Or do. I enjoy it. Uh, except for- Okay, legit. Legit, Superman 64. I, I've, I've said this, I think, already, but it's like, until you hit the last level, you do not know how rough Superman 64 is. I legitimately think level 2 is really hard for some reason. It just feels so inconsistent, level 2. Uh, every other level seems to get mildly easier, because there's just less, like, going on that, like, really you know, buggers you up on the level. The, the, every even number level, the odd ones are just like, they're the ring ones, it's a bit annoying, but sure. Um, uh, and this is if you're not using the, uh, the exploit that Proton John got to show off, because, uh, he finally got far enough in the game. Uh, that exploit, if you're wondering, is that, uh, there's difficulty levels in the game. You can turn the game onto easy, uh, normal, and then Superman difficulty. Uh, the game consists of, like, yeah, a ride stage, which is the rings, and then, uh, just a regular, like, indoor level. Uh, the indoor levels suck, the ride ones are kind of annoying, um, but, uh, so, after ten levels, oh, okay, perfect point, yeah, uh, after ten levels, if you're playing on easy, the game goes, oh, you gotta play on normal in order to continue the game. And it actually boots you out, and it tends for you to start the game all over again on normal. If you're playing on normal, after level twelve, 
does the same deal. Only if you're playing on the Superman difficulty can you play levels 13 and 14. But, here's the fun part, it's that when you are at that screen, you've obviously saved your game beforehand. Um, so this one's a fun one, by the way. So not all purple coins are just like, tra-la-la, pick up the purple coins. This is, tra-la-la, you've got three and a half minutes, pick up all the purple coins. Across uh, kind of a similar path to before. I think this one still has a hard limit of uh, 100 coins. Some of them overshoot it. Uh, this one I don't believe does. So, you all know which ones you can overshoot. Um, so, but the, yeah, the fun exploit is that uh, if you hit that screen, you've saved your game beforehand. I don't know why they let you save your game right before you get told you cannot continue the game, but you can change the difficulty on the pause menu, load the save, and then not only do you, like, can you continue playing right where you left off, you continue playing at the stage after where you left off. So you skip level 11, you just go straight to level 12. And then same deal if you do it for normal to hard, or normal to superman, you skip level 13, you go straight to level 14. The speedruns of the game will play on easy, and then just skip levels 11 and 13, and just they'll play 12 and 14 only. And bonus points uh, for people who have never played the game and think that it's full of those ring stages. Uh, not on easy, you don't have to go through rings, you just... You just get pointed to where you want to go. Uh, and uh, it's a feature that a lot of people miss, because I think... I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna say because I think they think easy is the difficulty for them. Uh, oh sorry, normal is the difficulty for them. But then they're gonna get caught out anyways, which is just like, thank you game design. It, it, it's, it's still trash, but it's just like, hey, if you legit like, think the game is like, you know, you really want to see the rest of the game, play on easy, just so you can like, blitz to the ring levels like so quick, and then just like, well, because they're not ring levels at that point. I can't jump! Can I jump off this wall? No. You should have 70 coins. Well, how- wait a minute. Oh, because I jump up here. I got it, I got it guys. Don't worry. Don't worry, I got this. Oh. I'm getting some Toy Story 2 flashbacks right here. Oh, okay, good. I don't know, things on, on rails. No! Yes! Okay, I'm good. I think that beat tells you that you, you've got the last, like, ten up here. It's good fun. It's a challenge. I enjoy these purple coins. Uh, the purple tint around the edge of the screen is an interesting one. Uh, is the big bait what I'm remembering? Yeah, the timer keeps going. But, hey, I got this. I got this, guys. It's cool. I don't know what the drilling was. Stop the hammering! Uh, so Mac OS, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bizarre to me. I haven't used Mac too much ever, um, I don't quite understand the difference in the keyboard, like, is there any reason why control had to be, like, really contextual, and then you've also got option, and then you've also got, uh, like, you've got the function key, which, yeah, is, is ruled out in terms of stuff, but it's like, yeah, you got control and option, which just, like, interchangeably do keyboard shortcuts. Uh, which, granted, Windows, you've got Windows and Alt, but to that I then say, well, Alt, you know, usually a Windows shortcut is dedicated for Windows, and usually an Alt shortcut is intended for an alternate key press. Uh... Oh. So, uh, do I remember what this one is? This is the... Yeah, this is the penguin race. Alright, this race is on. They get rid of your shell, they don't care. So I find this to be an interesting 
galaxy just because, yeah, you've got these, like, you've got two stars that are just, like, follow the, the guys through the, the bit. Now, these penguins are a bit mean, because there's one at the front that just goes. But yeah, it's another another race the people in the water kind of star, I guess. Are these supposed to be like cyclones or something? I don't know where they're sucking the water out of or where the water is even coming from if it's getting sucked out. Did they kill a group of that shell? Yeah, probably. But yeah, you just uh, ride them around a lap. Again. You know what's cursed? Going around this place anti-clockwise. Uh, which reminds me, I finished uh, Grid 2019 uh, this week, and uh, yeah, it's the amount of times I've, dro I've driven around a real-life circuit, uh, uh, I, can, I can speak, the number of times they get you to drive around a real-life circuit in reverse configuration is kind of startling, because there's so many of those circuits that I've never seen gone reverse, and they're just like, like Suzuka, it's like none of the corners make sense if you're taking them backwards. Too good, 118.08, too good. Penguins get annihilated. So, yeah, legit. Legit. If you if you want to make anything cursed, play any racing game and just try and drive things backwards. Even like a Mario Kart track. Try and see how much you can do of it backwards. It just throws you off. There's bound to be a lot of games out there that do the reverse circuit thing. Moo Moo Meadows. Yeah, Moo Moo Meadows is like that. Uh... What's the one, like, uh, Toad's Turnpike, just like going backwards, is a bit interesting because you're dodging traffic. <laughs> there exists a Hungry Luma. I'm going to do him at the end. There's no reason I'm doing him right away because I'm going to be outside. I mean, teleport. Oh my gosh! These comets! I mean, teleporting around with a track would mess with you. Um, actually, every battle mode course in the Wii U version lets you drive by as well. Yes! The Wii U Mario Kart 8. Yeah, that's a, that's a classic. Oh, we drive uh, back and forth through teleporters. Oh, dude, yeah, actually, jeez. Uh, this is, interestingly, it's called the Underwater Cosmic Mario Race, but it's not entirely underwater. And yes, it's another race. <laughs> In the same, same parts. I, I know, right? The Shadow Mario, he doesn't give up. He keeps going. One day I'll figure out how to do this starting jump, but for the moment I just keep backflipping. Uh, that's not fun. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, okay. Uh, idiot uh, Shadow Mario decides to run on the land instead of just like sticking to the rings. Obviously, he hasn't played more, uh, Superman 64. Alright, now here's the bit where I usually screw up. Oh, gosh. Chuck it. Chuck it. Long jump. Leg it. Leg it. No! Yes! No! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I got spam at the end. Dang it! <laughs> oh. Alright, this is the second worst Cosmic Mario. <laughs> Ah! No, no, pick up the shell! Pick up the shell, Mario! Gee! Oh, I'm not gonna win now. I'm not winning with that attitude, Mario. Jeez. Oh, I'm gonna be, like, right at him. And he's gonna nail these jumps. And now I'm gonna be pushing for it again. Not because I'm apparently too good. He doesn't like. Does he do a lot of stuff there? Oh, he just, he just runs. Yeah. Uh, might as well mention this one. Uh, if you have 120 stars, the uh, bonus reward that you do get, if and for those who play the game, you know this, is that uh, you get to play the whole game again as Luigi. And then if you do that again, the pity mode. Maybe there's. A, I don't think there's a pity mode in this in on the Cosmic Races. I think it is like legit. If someone wants to, time both and just see, like, if 
uh, Shadow Mario was at the same point. Or maybe I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll tweet it out or something. Um, I'm pretty sure they don't do it for the Cosmic Mario, just because, like, the, these, these stars are pretty, like, bonus. I don't see them, like, being that, that generous on that. And, uh, yeah, Silver Stars. So, you thought swimming around the same place over and over again was exciting? Well, you get to do it while collecting five, five things on the way as well. I don't mind this one. The inclusion of a purple coin. Hi, hi, there we go. The inclusion of a purple coin variant, I'll be like, yeah, okay, thanks, game. But, yeah, I mean, doing it legit. Doing it like this, it's not too bad. But yeah, you gotta work your way around and pick up the five silver stars. And yes, you can see something a bit elusive out, out there. That's probably my uh, least favorite of the stars over there. And yes, there's a Lumily Luma Bob watching for the Hungry Luna. I'm gonna see if I can deal with that one last. No, I'm gonna deal with this one first because usually it screws me up. How much does the Hungry Luma want? I think he wants like 50, doesn't he? 40? Okay. Well, I'll be able to shoot them properly in a moment. Love this cannon. Uh, don't screw it up. Got it. Yeah, oh, by the way, if you do overshoot it, you go out into space. That's great. And then, uh, yeah, you just fly your way back to the planet, so. Uh, are there a bunch of star bits I can get without having to go anywhere? 39. Is there one more out there? I don't have to go far. Yeah, I'm probably going to go back here anyway. Oh, I'm just committing. Alright, uh, here's a fun one. Uh, what do you do when you have to use a shell, but you are a bee? The answer is nothing. You don't get to use the shell. Oh, shit. Uh, do I need the shell? There's a chest over there. Yeah, they put one of the things in the chest around there. Very kind of them. Uh, but yeah, Mac OS. Uh, rest of it's fine. I had some weird issues earlier where, like, the, um, it would, uh, I, I, I got a, uh, was a Belkin Thunderbolt. They baited me really hard. Uh, I got a Belkin Thunderbolt buff, uh, because the joys of USB C only laptops and Thunderbolt port only laptops is that, yeah, you can't plug anything into one unless you got a dock. Well, unless your device is USB C, but. Yeah, I got a bit put out, so, uh, got a dock, and, uh, the display port wouldn't work consistently, it would keep just turning off the display, uh, and I didn't really know what was up with that, like, just, I'm in use, and then suddenly, display goes, boom, uh, Mac still thinks it was plugged in, um, so, sometimes I'd open a window and it would just move to that display that I can't see, uh, I don't know the shortcut for bringing windows back from other monitors on the Mac, so, that's good fun. Um, one kind of annoying thing is that they've got that finder bar. Uh, so, whereas on Windows, the context menu uh, exists at the top of a, you know, a window. Uh, on Mac, the context menu exists uh, just on the top of the screen at the whole time. Uh, that's on the top of both screens, even though that one uh, is always the primary display. I normally just drag the window over after minimizing. Um, yeah. But again, like, I can't... I don't know how to, like, focus the window. Um, oh, you overshoot it? No! Why do you overshoot it? Uh, oh, and I need to go back and get the B. Yeah, I need to get the B. Uh, it is super annoying, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the thing that I find kind of or I found kind of annoying is that the finder uh, bar only tells you what's the focus window. Uh, sorry, it, it only changes if uh, based on the last focus window that you uh, 
have on that monitor. So the my like the laptop display was showing me the finder for whatever was on the laptop, which doesn't really, you know, it's not relevant when that window's not focused, and in fact you can't select it anyways, but it's just like, man, you know, like I don't really see the use case in splitting out the uh you know the finder can well, at least compared to Windows, I don't see why the context menu is up there, but then it's still treated like a per monitor thing. It's it's a bit bizarre to me. I don't know. Uh how do you get over there? I have reasonably forgotten. I thought there was a, a... Yeah, I thought there was a launch, like, uh... Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot! I remembered. I remembered. It's cool. Ugh, camera! I'm over something, I can tell. There we go. Uh, yeah, this! Oh yeah. The bee can't. There you go. So, spin this. And, uh... Somehow, you have drained a lot of water that just magically flows into this weird egg thing into the center. You just get sucked into it, if you want to jump into it. And, uh, one of the, the stars is over here. This is a rather cool planet. It's just, like, intentionally here for this star, but sure. You get music. Why not? Uh, a few other things about Max are fine. I don't, I don't really, like, hate them. It's just... It's just, yeah, it's it's a bit of a difference in workflow. Crab rape. Oh. More like crab, you know... Uh, kill me while I'm on no health. All for a one-up. Bit of a waste of time, otherwise. Uh, but you do all that, and uh, the star appears conveniently where you started. So... I believe they spawn that when you get the sort of stuff. And, very nicely, I've got this, so I can come all the way back. There we go. It's a bit of a longer star, but it's a neat one. It's a neat galaxy. Uh, this is when Mr. Uh, Fierce TV here will, will tell me that uh, he loves these more open world stars, and I don't mind them, but... I don't know, I feel like it's a little bit too, too open, and I think that level probably pushes it. Never mind, I do remember there's one level in Galaxy 2 that's the same concept. It's just flat, it's not a donut, it's just, it's just a flat disc. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, I, th I thought I was gonna have to do this at the end of the freaking stream, not now, not immediately after this one. They're fun though. Oh, okay. Alright, tell me how fun it is when I have to do the purple coins immediately after. <laughs> oh. I mean, I guess I could have done the other star, but... So, uh, yeah, um... Yeah, remember when I said... Uh, yeah, I wish, like, the purple coins on this one is annoying? This is probably the most annoying purple coin mission in the game, in, in my opinion. This is just... There's coins everywhere. They are just loose. Everywhere. And you've just got to figure out where they all are. Everywhere. I- I don't mind Freeze Flames. I don't mind Freeze Flames purple coins. But this one, uh, also, yeah. This one actually is legit, like, going backwards is a, is a boss. Uh, I'm gonna have to duck down and get that one, because otherwise I'm gonna absolutely forget that it's there. This wonderful coin, just right there. Yeah, I, I don't mind it on Freeze Flame, but here it's like, oh, it's so big and long and wet. And there's bees. Oh. Alright, clipped. There we go. Captured in 4K. <laughs> I don't do my streams in 4K, so unfortunately I can't get that, but... Is 1080-60 good enough? Rude. Yeah, exactly. Listen, man. This is my wet donut level. My long and hard star. And if you cannot appreciate my long and hard star... Then I don't know what to say. Then. 
Uh, here we go. I'm a bit mean with some of the placements of these. Like, I'm, I'm just missing the ton associated with this tree. There's just, there's so many around this tree, I swear. I'm gonna catch this cloud. I'm gonna catch the cloud. Alright, if I miss any, just like yell at me and just be like, please, you're missing, you're missing all that beautiful coins. I'm pretty sure that's, oh, I'm pretty sure that's all of them, uh, in this direction. Let's, let's recover a bit of stamina and continue going on. There we go. Yes, I did run out of stamina, you said. Uh, I do appreciate that. Ah, B. <laughs> it's a recovery. It counts. I can see how it's going. Oof. I know, right? Maybe I was wrong in doing this backwards. Good, my dude. You missed out. We had two people earlier. Who are like, you know, follow for, or click this link for free subscribers, free followers. I missed out. I could have had, like, three followers. You know, that jump looked a lot closer than I actually, like, committed really hard into it. Oh, I okay, here we go. I want everyone in the chat to, to make fun of the funny number when it comes up. Oh, what's up, Mateo? How's it going? I'm doing my uh, absolutely favorite star in the game. The one where you go around the same island that I just went around for four other stars. Five other stars. No, four other stars. You know what's the best part? After the purple points, like, I, I can do the hidden star, and then, uh... <laughs> That's it. That's this galaxy done because yeah, all the the three star galaxies will have the secret star. Uh, they have the uh, you know regular comet and then double coin comet and then that's it. Unless you're um uh, battle rock galaxy, in which case you've got another mystical star. I don't know why you get you get seven. Uh, yeah, who put those uh, points down there? Legit special spot for whoever did this. It's ah. Oh. The the worst part is just that like it takes time. There's not really any like key bit you can fall off. I'd say the tree is probably the most likely bit you can fall off. Uh, but it's just yeah, it's just the fact that it's like a hundred specifically. There's nothing to do with the center, I don't think. So don't worry. You don't have to worry about that. But it's just yeah, it it, it takes its time. Uh, I don't want to be alive. Exactly. Uh, oh, where, where'd my ride go? Where's my ride? I'm gonna use this box and 100% do what the level design is intended for you to do. Alright, alright, I think that's, that's all in that direction. Yeah, okay. Uh, did anyone catch the, uh, the interview with a Sammy Classic Sonic fan? Uh, earlier? I think it was... It was either yesterday or it was the day before, but man, dude, like, Sammy is actually, like, you know, a legend. I love him. I, good on him for, uh, for doing the interview. There you go, guys. You're welcome. <laughs> exactly. Is there a funny number that, like, is in the 100s? Does 196 count? Because I was going to say, like, if you're playing Mario Galaxy 2, you can do that with, like, the star count. At, like, one point. If you can engage people long enough to <laughs> care about the green stars in that game. I love the Galaxy 2, but, like, legit, yeah, like... 
That, that makes for some rather dry uh, streaming experience. I'll get to that at some point, but you know, Galaxy 1 is where, where I am right now. That's where I'll be until the day I die. Dang it. Whoa, why have you done this to me? Why? Okay, just, uh, yeah. Go up. Let me go down. Yeah, this is the fun part, when you just casually hover over a pit. You know. Don't you do it? Sure. This is like home stretch now. It just keeps going, this level. Because you gotta go so slow as this bee. You can't just like, you know, clear off an area. It's like, oh, you just gotta like wander around. Uh, am I one short? I'm seeing, oh, I'm seeing four on my screen. We're good, we're good. Brilliant coin placement right here. Brilliant coin placement, I love it. Uh, it's, yeah, so to everyone who joined, uh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. I, I just don't like the start. And conveniently, it's on the complete opposite side of the level. Uh, are there any shells? I don't think there are. I don't think there's a single shell down there. Is that- oh, was that a shell? No. You think they put a shell? I can't believe this exactly. You know, I would love to be able to, to just be like, uh, speaking of bees, uh, do you like saving on, on, uh, shopping online? Join honey.com slash no, I wish I had a, a sponsor code like that. That would be a wonderful segue. I love people who legit, like, okay, legit, uh, say what you want about Pro Jared, uh, and the things that you've seen of him that no mortal should ever see again, but legit, his, like, sponsor segues are just, like, 100% cheese. I love it. I love it. It's just, like, what was the one video? He was talking about, like, it was dice or it was something. I don't know. And he was like, those aren't dice. Those are, those are my Raycon earbuds. <laughs> he just goes into it. <laughs> it's just, like, I mean, like, yeah, like, if you of course you're gonna be saying talking points, of course you're gonna be doing an ad, but I just, I love just like the unabashed, just like, slot in a product. I love it. And, 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 and in a way that it's like, it's obviously an ad. Cause that's the, that's the one thing I hate, like when you actually do get advertised to, but you're really not sure if you're like, actually being advertised, because, and, and this is not like a, oh, like they're psychologically manipulating me, to me, I don't know if I'm supposed to be buying something. Like, there's, there's some things where it's like... Is this, like, just irony or, like, legit? Am I supposed to be buying, like, the product that I'm seeing here? Like... It, it looks like they're making fun of it. And, uh... Yeah, like, it's okay for ads to make fun of, like, you know, themselves and stuff, but, like, when it's not really an ad... And it doesn't really sell the product. Then it's in a bit of a weird spot. Uh, so I'm gonna be looking around everywhere because I gotta get those 40 star bits again. It's not too bad. It's just are there any in space? I don't think there were. Done. Yeah, I'm gonna have to swim out a little bit. And I'm gonna come back. I hope you guys are tired of this level, because you're not going to see it after, after a few more minutes. Alright, real talk. This is my favorite part of the level, coming up. The Hungry Luba. Now, yeah, for, for those chiming in, the Hungry Luba, you feed it. Uh, and by the way, fix the, the pointer. It's not cutting out. Beautiful. Smooth. Delish. I am stuffed. I am whole. 
I am one with the Starbits. Uh, but yeah, they form a planet. A brand new planet that you've never seen before in this game. Uh, so instead of killing yourself and accidentally missing and flying to the black hole, shoot yourself towards this planet. I, 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 I had killing yourself and shoot yourself in the same sentence. I apologize, you close caption. I had a good scare uh, earlier this week where uh, YouTube uh, blocked my last two streams uh, for uh, inappropriate content uh, to minors, which is a new one to me. Uh, I appealed it, it reversed in like two seconds, and I'm really not too sure what Google was doing with the A-B testing there. Uh, oh, no. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. Because I've got the pattern, I just uh, didn't have the execution there. Uh, so yeah, the, the challenge compared to the last one is that uh, there's more of these. Uh, where is it? Over there. I'm a god. I'm a god. You're welcome. <laughs> and I can still do this. Like, where is gravity coming from? It has to be coming from the star. Am I- am I just- Oh, <laughs> I was like, am I going a bit too far away there? Yeah, I- I honestly was expecting to goof that. <laughs> it's not too bad, once you feed the Lumi, you can just go back into it, but it's kind of annoying. I think you do start from the, you know, from the very start of the level. I don't think there's any checkpoints in any of those levels, just because, like, the others are too short, and then they don't really have a spot to stop, so... Uh, so that's Sea Slide. That's entirely done. Uh, along with Good Egg. That one's entirely done as well. Uh, so... And also, Gold Leaf. Yeah, that's also entirely done. Uh, that's fun. Toy Time Galaxy. Time for the one that uh, people really, really like. I enjoy this galaxy. I don't know if it's uh, people's absolute favorites, but it's great because it's got the... The world 1-1 one, one overworld music from regular Super Mario Brothers. It's got the sprites. It's just a bunch of fun platforms, uh, which is a mechanic that I think they basically said, yeah, you know what? People really enjoyed this level. Screw Gold Leaf, you know? I remember they reused this music a lot as well. So, you got these little gear, gear dudes. What are they called? Gearmos? Welcome to the Toy Time Galaxy. We Gearmos are in charge of upkeep and maintenance here. I like to think of this as a bit of a bonus galaxy, even though it is, like, you know, one of the main three-star galaxies. It just feels like it's so, like, fun and rich with ideas. And speaking of rich with ideas, I realize there's one mechanic, I, like, we haven't even seen in at 82 stars in. I haven't even shown off the last of the power-ups. Uh, so this is a fun, like, bit you can go around just to get a one-up. Jump on top of here. You can chill with this guy. Our friends are trapped over there. Uh, I believe you have to do something cheeky, but I'm wondering if you can just jump it. Uh, uh, yeah, you can, you can jump it. Uh, Alright, at least you can jump that half. Oh no, that's the whole half. And then same thing with this off. It's just like, yeah, nah. Eh, it's good fun. I love these, like, colored star bits with the crayons. It's cool. Ah, it's just good fun, this level. And then the fun comes to a halt. Introduce the spring mushroom. <laughs> oh. So the spring mushroom is, uh, like the frog suit, uh, except I'm gonna dive myself off the level. You hit A, you spring up high, and then Mario just bounces wherever. He just, he will go wherever. Uh, and I think it's quicker to bounce high instead of just, like, slow bouncing. Uh, I think you lose the, the suit if you take a hit, though. Which gets real crafty with these fellas. Oh, oh, bit too corner gang. I like the Mecha Cooper song. I'm glad that they came back. Is this the first game that they were back from since, like, Mario World? They're such great en enemies. Ah, oh, I love how it's just like, oh, Sea Slide Galaxy, I hate it. And then, just pure, pure bliss. You got this plate. 
is a giant spoon. How cool is that? You got the jaw. Mario goes in the jaw. Um, don't think about that too much. And here we are at the giant robot, which is not a boss. Doesn't count. You get lured into his crusher feet. And in order to defeat the robot, you must screw him. Uh, you can take a pipe, or you can just jump. I like jumping. <laughs> hey, if they introduce crazy gravity, I'm just gonna jump, bro. Uh, this one's an interesting one. You got four quarters. Does this music play at any other point in the game? I don't think it does. This slides down, revealing the inner workings of the panel, but in particular, it also has a pipe. Go down the pipe. Pipe takes you out here. That's a one hole and a half. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Wow. Well, you know what's great? Having to do it all again. I feel like I've let someone down, but I think that's mostly myself. I hope that's everyone's first time. <laughs> I've let you guys down. Yeah, okay. I don't trust my ability to jump to a later part in the level from here, but I'm gonna say fairly certain you can. Ah, uh, it's, it's a bit of a pain having to wait for, wait for this whole like, platform to go down. You can see it just like shatter over there as well. Alright, well, I'm not, I'm not quick jumping this time. Oh my gosh, these Mecha Koopas are aggressive. The worst part is that if you fall down, they have a little ledge there for you to come back up. Right, there's a bat. Why not? And his arm has fallen off. Why not? And in comes the trickiest part of the level. Uh, for those who care enough to try and use the spring mushroom here instead of just down there where it is already. I like I can see the guys in there. Yeah, because cause you gotta jump high, you gotta use the spring. And, uh. Hey, if Croc can do the, the stacked platforms. <laughs> okay, now I've really let everyone down. Yeah, man. Every platformer that has a ground pound needs a stack of boxes. It is the most satisfying thing in the world. I love how just everything explodes. These guys are absolutely charred. And they're like. Are they thankful? Good job. Good job. Yeah, good job. That was a good job. If I do say so myself. Uh, so I am a little behind on, uh, getting stars, but... Turbo stars. We got this. Uh, oh, I'm not that behind. Yeah, I'm not that behind. Should be good. This calls for another Toy Time Galaxy Star. Mario meets Mario. What a star name. Here we go. So, uh, yeah, unlike the last level, your, uh, launch star is over on the left now. That's how you know, it's a different level. All systems go. Why? Because I say so. That's a Bill Tritton line right there. I bet you it was him. I don't know a single uh, Nintendo translator, I'm sorry. Bill was in the credits, wasn't he? I think he was. Uh, so this is a fun part. I'm actually gonna ignore these, uh, star chips. Because... I know there's a hungry Luma right there. And you need, like, I think you need 50. 
But considering they launched like uh, some star bits at you and uh, I got the mech at well, yeah, there you go. If I can see where okay, well they all phased out. Yeah, like you keep getting culture with them. If you're missing star bits, just it's not too bad. Uh, what's he up here? Yeah, right. Well, I only need one star to do this. One life to do this. Hey you, you got any star bits? Feed me more star bits. I'm hungry. I'm absolutely hungry. I cannot survive without eating on this carbonated sugar. Carbonated sugar? I don't know. And off in the distance, we have discovered just a very abstract looking looking galaxy over there, then sure. I like this planet. It's cool. Uh, I got one one hit, so I'm gonna hope that this coin's in there. Yeah, I want coins in there. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is cool. This guy, I think he, he just flat out goes, "Yo, just just jump, jump, bro." And yeah, you can just jump to that other bit. It's so cool. Uh, you gotta make sure you get these, get these switches up. Uh, he's gonna come back on me. Nice. Uh, as long as I don't touch the spikes there, I should be okay. There you go. It's all good. I touched the spikes there, and I'm coming with him. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not doing a great case for myself, but sure, I'm going okay. I'm going fine. Uh, so once you got the um, on four sides there, which I think I did, yeah, I'm good. You just keep going around the other direction. Imagine the existence of these enemies. They're just like they're just plow around. They're going at it. Is that it? That is it. And it's back over there. Hmm. Ugh. Okay. Ew. I... I... Okay. Yep. Yep. Alright, I got it, I got it, I got it. The only program is jump in one direction. Got it. Uh, and like all good uh, levels, they stop the platforms here, and then proceed to- Come on! Come on! Come on! Get it! Get it! Get in there! There you go. Nice. Easy. Pristine. Pristine? Oh. <laughs> uh, that's a- that's a fun star. I enjoy it. Oh my gosh, we're already at the halfway point for the number of stars for the for the stream. 84. So I think I said earlier, it's like, yeah, there's 46 stars left. There are 36 stars left. It it comes quick. It's this game. Oh, I, <laughs> I think this is my problem with doing all the comments kind of in the water, is that they're just gonna come at me. They're, 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 Commenting at me, I guess. Anyway. Fast foes of toy time. Well, did you enjoy that last star? Because you're gonna have to see the exact same thing again. This time, I'm gonna do the outside ring first. It's probably the most killer of the rings as well. Alright, so as long as I don't get crushed, I should be fine. I got crushed. I'm not fine anymore. Oh, you wanna you wanna go back to the observatory? Or... Yeah, I I hate that you can get crushed by the you know the edges of it. Makes sense, but it's just uh... right, here we go. Uh, I'm probably gonna say 
Oh, wait, that's not a... That's... That's a different dude. Oh, boy. This is gonna be fun. Uh, I guess I'll just keep going up. Let's see how we go. Oh, that's... That's a... Why... <laughs> sure. Oh! Too good. Bye. Ah! Did I get the coin? Eh, no coin for me. Don't need it. And yes, I know this is gonna be the most tragic ending. Oh no, never mind. And the star's back there. Same star, just different name. Different name, different game. I think there's uh, legitimately a same star, different game with uh, Galaxy 2. But uh, yeah, we'll get into that later. So uh, yeah, Mac OS, that's the thing. I think I've said enough, I can't really say too much. Uh, I keep coming back to it and then getting distracted because Mario Galaxy is such a fun game. Uh, what's another topic I have? I don't particularly have any other topics. Um, there's a lot of E3 talks. I guess because it's next month. It's, it's getting, coming up pretty soon. E3 is a bit interesting because it's like, what even is E3 now that it's all digital streaming? Everyone had their own things, but it's like, the whole point of E3 was like a press showcase. The press would come and play demos and interview people and see things and tell people what they saw. And then at some point it started being a bit more televised so consumers could see what the journalists were seeing for a fair bit. But the journalists still had to drive, you know, conversation and all that stuff. Uh, now it's a bit interesting where it's like, you know, like, how much work do journalists get to do after a while? I guess they, get, they do get to still do some interviews, but it's like, man, I, I don't know. I feel like there's some developers out there who probably gain more by just doing an AMA or just saying the things that they just want to say anyways, or just making press releases over and over. Did Cyberpunk have people interviewing them, or did they just... Do they just make their own press material and I'm like, yep. And don't say, bro, they made their own reviews, because, yeah, I know. I need to take off the training wheels. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Alright, as long as I don't touch the big ball, I'm good. Uh, that is back to the Hungry Luma. I don't need to go visit him again. Uh... I feel like I'm a few star chips short. This is this is two. I know there's one on the other side. And there's one in there. I'm quite certain I missed another one, but I'm sure. Uh we got this one. Oh we got the one. Okay. Well. well I thought I'd miss it, but seems not. Seems to be pretty okay. Sure. And you know what's convenient? I'm in the right spot. Gotcha. I remembered that one. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, and here we are at the Mario Meeting Mario. It's a platform. You gotta collect the silver stars. Good luck! Uh, so the fun part with this is that all the platforms will gradually screw you over. Uh, so all these green platforms disappear. The lava will kill you. The rotating platforms will just be a bit of a nuisance. There's an M over there. The M is real. Take a shot every time you see the letter M in this game. That would be killer. Take a shot every time you see the letter M and not in the context of a word. Like, it's just the letter M. How about that? And not whenever you see Mara's hat. And you're not allowed to do that one, otherwise you would actually die every time I turn around and face the camera. Uh, and then, yeah, the fun part is getting back. Oh boy. It's all good. Oh good, I planned this from the beginning. I think. I don't know. So, we got a star! Hooray! Is this... Is, this is 86? Jeez. It's actually come up quick, jeez. 
Oh, new high score, man. Two coins. It's better than my last one. Again, do people play with for like coin high score in this game or? Oh! <laughs> I cannot escape these. I cannot escape these. So I'm doing all the like the fun late game purple coins and yeah, okay. This is why I did this at that point though, because it's so convenient now that I get to just absolutely clear off all these galaxies. So, on the flip side, Luigi's purple coins. Now this is an example of one that I know there's more than 100 coins. Uh, it's rather isolated, this one. It's actually not too bad. You get three minutes, uh, but the tough part is, yeah, you're not collecting purple coins. Sorry, you are collecting purple coins. That's literally the mission. You're not collecting the silver stars. So, your objective is not as, like, fixed. You can kind of take this in whichever direction you want. Uh, I traditionally am not that gutsy to get those. Oh, but I'm gutsy enough to slide off the back of that. Uh Yeah, these purple coins are legit the tricky parts of the game. I say that after dying on the like, Cosmic Mario's before. Uh, one. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna count this one? You're gonna count this one? You got you, you gotta bet like how many times am I gonna die on this? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna bet you two. And you're gonna hate every single time I do that as well. Uh, and yeah, if you touch the the goop, you hard die. So uh, I'm like the lava. Death is, is permanent uh, in that. Uh, so, the secret with this, uh, I don't know how many coins there are, I think there's 120. The secret with this is just to kind of like take it around the outside, around the outside, and then uh, just, uh, yeah, come come back, hit off the different bits. You get a one-up, so it's not the worst. Uh, I like this as a challenge though, it's cool. Uh... And they have so many of these kinds of, like, loose... <laughs> that's a bit of a got to go. They got so many of, like, these loose ones. Uh, unfortunately, none of those coins are funny number. None of these coins I'm gonna get, so... Uh. Oh, I got these ones. Alright, here we go. Uh, this is the fun part where I try and figure out which ones, which... Oh! Oh no! Oh no! This is not the best part to be... Uh. Alright, so as long as I can get back... Well... I'm disappointed I didn't even eat my quarter on that one. Maybe I should have died, just for, just for giggles. Two? Does that count as a two? Is that really a two? <laughs> Three? What are you? Oh no. Yes, yes, okay. Uh, so, uh, there's one more star. There's one more star in this galaxy. It's pretty cool. I like it. <laughs> Uh, this one is Bouncing Down Cake Lane. We gotta have one more of those Spring Mario stars. There's a couple of stars that involve Spring Mario, but I think this is probably the one that people will remember more. Um, that until you hit Chompworks in Galaxy 2, but, you know, can't talk about Chompworks. This train's going double time, though. And whoosh off, and you got the same deal. You got star bits on the spoons. You got these weird citrus things. There's nothing screams more fun than a lemon. So, uh, this is a cool thing where you get to wall jump. You don't even have to touch the controller. Oh, you gotta touch the controller at that point. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. This is. Mildly painful because you're slightly moving backwards, but you get there. And yeah, if you bounce off the chocolate. What is this chocolate conveyor belt? Okay, can, can I stop like filling them right away? Oh, you got you gotta get the coin. You gotta get the coin. Am 
I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get that coin. I'm, I'm gonna get that coin, guys. Get my coin. Oh, I even had it then. Wait, this is, I didn't even need it. I didn't even need to jump. Okay. Look at that, I can't cheese an area by jumping right over it. Did they just reuse... not reuse. It is rather different, but did they kind of like revisit the... <laughs> did they revisit the food uh, angle in uh, Mario Odyssey? I feel like they did. Four. What's the... What's the what is this? What is the four? I don't know. You guys are gonna tell me what you're counting at the end. I'm gonna be like, oh, okay. Is it me going, Woo! is that it? Is that it? Are you gonna say five now? Have I got it? I, I figured it out. Uh, this is an ice level, by the way, all of a sudden. It's, it's got the ice platforms, it's got like, whatever this- oh. And yeah, if you fall off, I think you do die there. Maybe it's rock candy? Maybe! I like to think it's like ice cream. Uh, I don't- I don't know- I'm, it's been like forever since I've had a lollipop. Is- is lollipops like, legit, like, having cold? I thought you just- yeah, this is just candy. Uh, you can be the kind of guy who doesn't go to the stop or star in the middle. Uh -huh. Jumping up the spoons. Imagine butchering a cake like this, like you stick all these spoons in the side. Uh, so the, the gimmick with this one is that you gotta, you gotta blow out the candles. That's good fun. This is a sound I don't even think I've heard in any of the rest of the game. It's it's just there. Look how many star bits are in this hole. Jeez. It's a shock of luck. Oh, it's the return of the favorite boss. It's second. Oh, it's technically the same boss, but uh, in a rather different context. He's at the top of Gumballs. <laughs> I Go. Oh, that face. Alright, so again, don't get hit or else you get dead. Uh, now, unfortunately, he doesn't really do too much, like, stop you from just immediately climbing up. Now I'm angry! So his trick now is that he's electrified. Which wouldn't work if he activated that soon. He's still gone. <laughs> I love that boss. I don't care. Uh, gotta have 200 star bits, cause why not? I'll get that star eventually. I got that star bit- there it is. <laughs> uh, Spring Mario is fine. I think it's cause when something lets you control something a bit, you know, harder than you usually did, it's always tough to like. Um, there's a- it's like the frog suit from Mario 3, it's just like, you know, it's neat, but oh my gosh, dude. I can't control it. Mario costumes got wackier and wackier. Dude, legit. Legit. Like, I mean, a boo, a bee, and a spring. Like, that's that's your three costumes for this game. Bowser Jr.'s Lava Reactor, the boss level that I did not play before beating the game. 
It's curious that you don't have to beat this one, considering this does give you a, a grand, uh, yeah, a grand star. This is the last grand star in the game, but don't need it. King Caliente spicy return. A boo, a bee, a ba, a bee, a, a bye, and a boo. Three of those might be the same thing. Uh, is this the same star as one of the other levels? Uh, ooh, ooh. Oh, jeez. Well, life for me. I think the game probably just intends you to, like, walk it. Whoa. There we go. Just, uh, dig your heels into- no, 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 Dig your heels into that. You've got to be kidding. I've got him in my orbit. <laughs> Please, game. Come on. Why, why have you done this to me? <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll, I'll get him. I'll get him out. I'll get him out. We'll do the loop. The victory mile. <laughs> there we go. I don't think you can jump over here. I'm very certain you can't. That is like a freebie, you know, like power mushroom right there. Remember these guys? Oh, I'm not even in the lava. I'm not even in the lava. What's the five? What? What is the five? Okay, you get. You guys are gonna tell me like what this is at the end. I'm gonna be like my ultimate weapon, the second boss in the game. MLG moments. Yeah, that'd be cool if there were five MLG moments right there. You were counting a lot of them during the um the the purple coins on the the Mario face, so maybe it is. Uh, whoop. there we go. It's the same boss, it's just you've got sinking platforms, like, right away, and you're gonna deal with the two hits right away. Which makes it not quite the easiest fight, because he's all... Yeah, nah, nah. I'm not, I'm not winging that one. Oh, oh okay. One. It's not too bad once you're in a rhythm, because you're in the air, so... Now I'm angry! It's, it's mostly the same boss, but yeah, it's fine. Uh, yeah, I forgot this boss, by the way, when I said... I don't think there are any more bosses. Is, yeah, there is that guy. And he gives you a grand star. It's not really that exciting of a level, is it? It's, it's kind of short. It's just like, there you go. Just break open the, the cage again. Sinking platforms. Have a boss. Sure. Yeah, that... You know, at least... At least... It's not Corona Mountain. Ooh, ooh. Get him. Get him. I get to throw Mario Sunshine under the bus constantly. <laughs> so, with that last Grand Star, I have. Is that every star in the game? That's every Grand Star in the game. So, now I have full access to the entire ship. Rosalina's probably going to mention that. Uh, I have discovered a new galaxy, which is, yeah, everything in the center. Uh, there's still another 31 stars to pick up. Uh, Toad over here is just like, hey, uh, I, th I think you need five more one-ups. I haven't even turned off the game, you're just giving them to me. Sure. Well, see me next time. So, you, this counter in the center, that's how many stars are going to be left. Uh, there is no comet right now, so... Uh, I'm gonna continue on there. Uh, but yeah, so now I have full access to the rest of the observatory, um, which I'll be casually exploring, uh, 
maybe later. Um, I believe I've got enough stars to basically unlock the remaining galaxies. I will be showing off the rest of them in uh, still, you know, one more stream left. I think my goal was like, I, I just saw I was getting like 20 something stars a stream and I was like, let's just try and get 24 a stream and then after five streams I'll have all 120. So, uh, this hungry lumen needs a thousand star bits. Really hungry. Really hungry. And he goes off to form his own galaxy without any of those pesky laws from the rest of the galaxies. This is the Sand Spiral Galaxy. Imagine eating so many star bits and you end up being a sand level. Choosing a favorite snack. Now this, this is a fun level. I enjoy it. Uh, this is the only level that gives you the option of choosing one of your two favorite power-ups. Uh, because the bee mushroom gets so much attention, I will be using the boo. Uh, you're gonna see how kind of short it is, but... But you know, a choice is there. Uh, obese Luma. Also, they turn into a black hole, though. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. Uh, so yeah, you get the choice of crossing this corridor in one of two ways. Uh, the boo gives you the ability to infinitely fly across, but you gotta dodge the lights. The bee gives you the ability to just, like, you know, who cares about the lights? Uh, but, you know, energy. Uh, and I think this touches you anyways, so you gotta watch out for that. It's not too bad, just gonna hold up and run. I don't think you can fly the rest, but uh, this is probably the, the best part of the level, when you get to absolutely annihilate every single one of these landmines you come across. And uh, you can run your way to the center. Uh, Mario's super strong. I gotta reset the, the chat. I could ruin it, but I, I'll, I'll continue running around. I feel like you can just kind of jump to the center. No. Why is it playing the underground theme? Uh, am I out of orbit on that? I am out of orbit. Nice. Okay, well, let's just jump. And you got this lovely moon in the center. How wonderful. Uh, so I'm just resetting the chat, so if anyone says something, I really apologize. Okay, we're good. No one knows. Uh, so how was that related to snacks? Uh, I think the favorite snack was that you got the choice of two mushrooms. Uh, mushrooms are your snack, apparently. There are three purple coin- there are four purple coin comments. There are four of them right now. What is happening? Well, I think it would be best to take a little bit of an easier level out of the way. Actually, I might be able to go around and pick up all those purple coins. That would be neat. So, Honey Hive, this is the other galaxy that I have not cleared in the terrace, and then the entire terrace is done. Except the entire engine is done already, so... Yeah. Uh, so Mr. First TV will tell me that this is a wonderful star, and I will actually agree with him to some extent. Uh, out of those levels that just consist of a largish area where you pick up coins, Honey Hive gets a pass in my books. Uh, so, yeah, this is another one of those purple coins. Well, there's no time limit, just briskly pick up coins at your own pace. Uh, but they're a bit mean because they put some coins like that, and they put coins like that on the hill. This one's not too bad though. A couple of opportunities to fall into pits, but, you know, for the most part it's not too bad. Uh, they do have to invent some fun ways to get around the area though, because they're not giving you the, the B, I think. How many of these levels have to be? Why is that? Uh, that's not how you're supposed to get that, but sure. I, I'm gonna hope there's no coins hiding in the, in the bits. Uh, I think I can see all the later bits in the level as well, because they're not really that far away. There you go. 
got the coin. Easy. Uh, uh, toll stack, gotta do it. Oh, they did hide a coin in there. Alright. I don't think I'm missing any coins out in that direction on the slope, no, so I think I'm good to go on the fight. Mario took a shower, definitely very wet. Uh, so this miraculous pipe takes you to the underside. I don't know why they walled it off as well. <laughs> uh, here we go. All these rocks. All these rocks. Where did they go? Where did they come from? Black hole just chilling there. That, that is terrifying. There's so many levels where it's just like, there's a massive black hole. Like, you can... It, it, I, I just hope that that's, like, Bowser's work. I just hope that that's, like, the reason that they give. Uh... Yeah, we'll tackle that slope later. Uh, pipe takes you back out to the top. Okay, um... Oh. Guys, you gotta take a shot. That was, a, that was an M over there. Uh... Oh, the Piranha Plant is the key. Yeah. Come on, what's the key? Oh, this one. There you go. No? Which piranha plant was the key to getting up there? <laughs> okay, why are we back down to four? Is this just me saying wrong things? Okay. Or is this me getting hit in really dumb ways? It's probably the... <laughs> more likely the latter, but... Eh. I always get a bit concerned if I extra spin that, because I have had the, the horror story of, yeah, doing this star, and then... Or, and then... Yeah, just... just jumping off there. Are the coin positions deterministic in this level? Oh, actually, in all the levels, yes. So, uh, in this one in particular, there are exactly 100 coins, uh, and there's not really any checkpoints like the gold leaf one, so, uh, but that one did have a time limit, so I did kind of want you to get those like that. But yeah, all the coins are in a, a preset, uh, location, so it is just me remembering where they are. Now I'm angry! Uh, this, these are the cheeky coins. I remember missing those for the longest time. Uh, so this is the fun part. I believe like all of this stuff you guys have all seen. You've all explored it. Right, yeah, whatever. It's, it's the same level you always have seen. But then here comes the fun part when you, you work your way up to the top. I got these cheeky coins in the, the edges there. Uh, the, the gill board teaches you how to wall jump, just in case you forgot by this point. There we go. But yeah, you see those blocks out the back there? This is the, the kind of interesting part because, uh, they've kind of put some, some coins in some more, uh, Exciting locations, like up here. Uh, I hope Nintendo randomly gives us Galaxy 2 on the Switch, and I hope they do really soon as well. I don't see there being any, like, huge technical reason why they can't, considering Galaxy 1 is on there. Um, at least, as long as they're not, like, doing any, like, real fancy shader work. Uh, that just, like, it doesn't compile, because they're just transliterated or anything. Uh, but, you know, considering you can take all your code for the Mario Galaxy and get it working, um, on the shield and then the switch. I'm gonna say it's probably not too bad to to get Galaxy 2 working on there. So I hope they do it. I made a bad call where I thought they were gonna release this DLC uh, or some variety uh, in January. How wrong was I that I thought Nintendo actually wouldn't have kept to their plan of removing all sides from the storefront. 
nothing will beat the original. Oh my gosh, my mouse is so bad. Uh, they could uh, use an open source emulator like they've done before. Does Nintendo use uh, emulators that other people have written? Uh, I feel like they do their own stuff in-house, because I remember people notoriously called out the uh, the Virtual Console stuff for N64 things, and they said it's actually, like, really cycle and accurate. It just, it does some things that are just, like, so wrong, like, for a period of time. Nintendo giving away free content? Uh, gone with the days. Gone with the days. I don't think they would have given it out for free, but as, as like a paid extra. I wouldn't have mind a paid extra. Considering Nintendo have released it on the Wii U as well, uh, we know that they've taken the bootloader hacks from ROMs. True, true. I don't think they've taken like pure emulation code though. I think they, uh, they usually keep it on, on a pretty down low. Uh, I'm curious what a uh, Sega uses for their like Genesis stuff, because like they've legit like put a, a Sega Genesis emulator on like every single console now. They've got the, the plug and play Genesis. They got uh, the one that's on Steam and it's on the uh, it was on the 360 and it's on the, the Xbox One and it supports VR and it's just like that's a horrendously like magical emulator. Oh, and it, and it supports wrong hacks like. I'm missing that one coin. Can I just crawl up? Crawling in my crawl. I could probably jump up. But yeah. Uh, I know, I know. That's what I get for doing that. You know what's the best part? This is when I do my, my fear of uh, spinning right there. Because you're right over the black hole. You are right over the black hole. So unless I do Freeze Flames 100 coins, I feel like I'm going to be rather pressed for time, but I'd rather not do like a mini stream because I know that the remaining stars are not going to take more than three hours, it's just I don't want it to take that much longer than two. Alright, let's bounce with some shorter ones anyways, so. Alright, when you don't trust, oh, okay, I'm, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, here I go. Ugh, there we go. And it's back to the start. But, no deaths. It's okay. They're rather peaceful, these, uh, these late game purple, well not late game purple coins, the, the, the no time limit purple coins. And the pipe is sus. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That pipe did just vent. It is the vent. Did Mario just vent? Who knows? You remember seeing those memes of, uh, what is it, Minecraft, Fall Guys, and Among Us should unite to defeat Fortnite? Yeah. Those were the days. Those were the days. Uh, so with that, that is yet another star done. Uh, the terrace is in here. Yeah, okay, cool. Sure. Uh, so if I was which among us are you? I'm the, uh, the ground among us. What was the one, the, the, uh, among us butthole chart? I think I am the ground one on that chart. <laughs> A troll face among us, yeah. Uh... Don't ask about the open uh, longest bottle shot. <laughs> uh, so this is another hungry loomer, but uh, oh, sorry, no, that's the same one. Never mind. There's one over there. That's what it was. So this is probably a rather irritating uh, thing. Uh, this guy tells you this is the gate. If you go into it. You are back here at, like, the, you know, that one galaxy that you started the game at. Uh, but if you go up to the top... You got Rosalina up here. She's chilling. She tells you this planet is very dear to her. I wonder why. 
I look forward to visiting this planet with the Lumas every 100 years. The Luma that's been traveling with you may also grow up to become a star someday. Some Lumas become planets, some become comets, and a few become power stars. I'm traveling with them while they look for a place to be reborn. This is Luigi's Mansion. Uh, it could be. There is the Luigi's Mansion level. Wow! Mama must really trust you. How about this? So, uh... <laughs> it's another purple coin. Uh, level. This is a mechanic that I think the developers couldn't really figure out how to put in a nice way anywhere else. Uh, pick it up, and you turn into flying Mario. You jump, you spin, and you just, you fly. You just go for it. It's rather tough to know where you are in 3D space. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna hope that I'm maintaining my balance here, but I've legit, I'm, I'm losing track of where I am. <laughs> No, I almost had it. Hey, he's got laser eyes as well. So if you hold down A, you just stop and point. Uh, and then, yeah, you can just kill it like that. And then, other than that, I guess all the Pokemons are on the ground. So The sneeze is coming. Here it comes. There it is. We did it, guys. It's been an hour. I finally did that sneeze I said I was waiting on. Oh, oh and you can, you can spend most of the coins if you're really lazy. Power up lost like a fair bit. How come you don't have channel points? Uh, oh, cause I'm not a, I'm not a affiliate, so I don't uh, have uh, the the affiliate stuff. That's that's associated with a. Uh, I don't know actually why that's not like a feature for regular people, but it's cause like I also can't do emotes and stuff. Oh, do we actually have channel points? I haven't checked. We have enough, I do have enough followers, but in order to become affiliate, you need a couple of other things. Most notably, uh, you need to have a 28-day period where you stream for uh, for eight hours, uh, something on seven days, and then have an average of three viewers across that period. Uh, so, which I don't think the three viewers is a problem, but. Uh, my problem is the terms and conditions, and enough time, yeah, exactly. My problem is that, yeah, I only stream once a week, so the eight days is a little tricky. I know I could just do a dummy stream on, like, the remaining days, and that will probably count, because I do eight hours anyway. Uh, the other one is that I don't really agree to the term that, like, the content you stream to Twitch is kind of exclusive to Twitch uh, for 24 hours. I guess it's not really that much of a problem, because it takes me a while to... Like, I go, I go to sleep, and then the Twitch bot's up, and I'm usually kind of working right away, so... Not really... Sometimes I set it up alright, but sometimes it's like, yeah, like, I'll just set up the next day. Uh... The one thing I hate about, yeah, this flying thing is that, like, you're upside down sometimes. Like, right now, and it's just like, yeah, it starts to become a little bit painful to, to look at. Uh, let's laser eyes on this. Uh... Where's that last coin? Is it in that one? Oh, it's, I was gonna say, is it in that one crater? No, it's just up here. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I'm just not an affiliate for that reason. Maybe, maybe I'll warm up to it a bit more over time. Uh, but, like, the main reason why, like, I mean, if, if the viewer features are fun, also, you get a wonderful red star. What did I name the stream? I named this uh, video Kill the Radius Star 5. Was that an actual 5 or like. Oh! Oh, are you counting the number of times I interrupt myself? Is that it? The only thing that keeps me away from affiliated tiles? Yeah, the followers is definitely. Uh, oh gosh, don't remind me of Superman. <laughs> um, yeah, the followers is definitely like a tough hurdle. Uh, that's why you have all those wonderful people who goes, Ah, oh, if you sign up for affiliate, uh, I'm gonna go over to the kitchen. No, I'm gonna go over to the fountain, because there's purple coins over there. Uh, you got 65. Uh, yeah, I, I do have more, th more than 50 followers. I know, I know, these, these bots really need to go, Hey, look at this guy's account. He's got enough followers. Like, by far now. I used to teeter a bit on, on the 50 count, but I'm just like, no, like, legit. Legit, it's fine, so. Copy comment, space jump. Uh, this one is a fun short one. 
That's not going to take too long. Actually, there's not... I think there's only one, like, no time... Uh, purple coin mission left. Because the two in the in the terrace are slower paced ones. There's the one on the ring, and then there's one on Freeze Flame I can remember off the top of my head. I can't think of too many others that are like that, so... This one, 100 coins, uh, they are in groups of 10 amongst all the centers. I believe the layout... is the layout different? The layout is different. That makes this really fun, by the way. Do I remember the layout? I don't know. We'll see. It's not too bad. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. okay. Keep going. Yeah, it's you guys are totally doing a counter on how many times I've been caught myself. That's. That's 100% it. I'm that predictable, aren't I, that I can do it like five times in a single stream. Or six. But it went down once. I don't know. Uh, how do we get over there? Uh, how do we get over there? Alright, I'm gonna circle around this way. I'm gonna circle back to that. There we go. Oh, I probably could have jumped it anyways. Okay. And now, as long as I get back to the center in time... Yeah, okay. That's why I wasn't appearing. You know, I appreciate it. something different. Like a different layout. That's... that's good fun. Zero. I'm redeemed! I'm redeemed of the counter. That's an O. That's a negative one. Oh no. Uh, I don't know what to think now. Uh, instead of double checking that the uh, other star didn't have the comet, I don't think it would have the comet. I think they only appear every so often, so. Yeah, no, no comet. Uh, because I haven't done Battle Rock Galaxy, so. Uh... Oh, I still haven't activated it. Darn. Okay. Well, I got to show off this mechanic. Uh, so after clearing out that one star that gave me the, uh, the red star, uh, there's a red star there. So you can freely... Dang it. This is an amaranth. Yeah, exactly. So you can freely use the red star here and fly around the common observatory. This is the only other spot in the game that they use as power. It's cool, but... And honestly, I can see why they don't use it anywhere else. But uh, you can't fly the twisty trials. I believe they they wall you off there. Uh, where's here we go? Uh, so there's a hungry luma here. Um, there's another one hungry luma, and I think I'm I'm gonna be a bit pressed for for star bits on that one. But we'll see. But this guy has 1,200 star bits. In his belly, in a moment, he's absolutely famished, he's really hungry, and there he goes. He's now got his, his filling. This music gets higher pitch every single time you feed a larger hungry. At some point, you know, someone's gonna make it like 9,000, and then it's just like... What do you do? So this is Boo's Boneyard Galaxy. Boo's Boneyard Galaxy. This is a mechanic, or this is a level that uh, I'd kind of witnessed before. Yes. I love the skull planet though. It's cool. I love how skulls have like four teeth. That's how you know that they're skulls. Uh, down the slope, and we need another Boo level. So, sorry, what, what, what did he say? Float up like that, like... 
I guess, I guess you may not have experienced the boot power-up, but you can do so many levels out of order. Like, it's kind of hard to predict. Here we go! This level is all side-scrolling. It's good fun. I so appreciate the, uh, music in 3, and, uh, oh boy, the effect of the waving landscape is rather disorienting now that I'm looking at it. go. Uh, I don't think anything here hurts you, because otherwise then you'd lose your boo. Please get dangerously close to doing it, but not quite. I gotta get some star bits somehow. Is this like going into the depths of, uh, you know, a, a monster or something? It's really short, this course, as well. It's only like 46 minutes. 46 minutes, 46 seconds. <laughs> promise is a promise. Have you, have your star. So he had two stars on him. And then suddenly you transform into Mario. It's probably going, oh no. It's, it's back in the realm of the living, I guess. So that is star number 94. I'm gonna see if I can try and cram two more in this video. That's amazing that I could manage to do these like longer purple coin missions like the ones that are available right now. Oh boy. You know what's the worst part? I did like two stars in the engine dome last uh, last stream before like the end. And now I'm gonna do one purple coin and then it's just like, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna have to do something in the, the top dome. <laughs> Uh, that'll be good fun. Uh, but let's let's nail off here. We've got Battle Rock Galaxy Comet, the only galaxy with seven stars. I think. I think, yeah, the only galaxy with seven stars. Why did they have seven stars in this galaxy? I'll never know. But that's okay because it's a cool galaxy. Uh, this is. A absolutely fun one because there are exactly a hundred coins along this railroaded path. So if you do miss one, you know what you gotta do. And uh, I don't trust myself in getting this all first go, but we'll see. Never say never, but. And the tricky part is that because you can walk on the underside of this platform, you gotta deal with being able to walk on the other side of the platform, so. But it's at least very clear where all the coins are, because they're all on screen. So. Isn't Amaranth like a... I'm just bringing this up, isn't Amaranth the... Like, the, the like machine part greaser? Put it on the car parts? Make it, make it put it on the brake discs? I don't know if you should be putting Amaranth on the brake discs. Probably shouldn't be putting Amaranth on your brake discs. A lot of the purple coin music is kind of the same though. And this is when they kind of bait you because they expect you to do a uh, backflip like that. Oh, and you're going to need that coin as well. Jump for justice. And then they make you think that there's something on the other side. I think your mushroom is moldy if it's green. That, hey, that mushroom gives you an extra life. That mushroom saves. Well, it doesn't save your life, it just gives you... I don't know. Maybe it makes Mario transcend. Hey, very nice. It's just poisonous. Dude, what if there was a venomous mushroom out there? Like, it bit you. Oh! That's another star. That's cool. Yeah, I'm surprised I'm gonna be able to get 24 stars in this stream, but yeah, it seems to have worked out that way. That's cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm unfortunately gonna have to get uh, magic mushrooms, anyone. Ooh. A flash of that post about Venomous vs. Poisonous. Uh, the one that ends with a... It's like... 
what is it, like, what if I bite it and then it dies, and it's like, that means you're venomous, and then... What if we bite each other and neither of us die? That's kinky. That's the one. It's a good punch, I like it. That's the one. Yeah, it's so good. Uh, so here's... Right at the top. Uh, this is a fun shortcut that you have to manually activate, by the way. It's kind of irritating. Right down to the bottom. But now, yeah, I, I'm not gonna have to worry about wandering around. I can just walk my way up to the top. Luigi's just chilling here. He's, he's not had anything to do for most of the game. Venomous mushroom, yum. Yeah, I mean, you could probably eat a venomous mushroom. Ugh. Ouija. Ah, uh, this is a miraculous location, by the way. It just, it, it exists beyond space. Uh, oh, I get to bait you by doing the one, uh, the one, the one side galaxy. Okay, so Mad as Fire Galaxy. I love this one. Are you playing as Dark Mario now? Mario and Ouija. Um, I don't know what's with the, uh, the flying Mario costume. Just the black colors. I guess it's just a big inversion of the, the white outfit that you you get when you're the Fire Mario, so. Uh, but nah, this is a cool galaxy because, uh, again, again, I love this mechanic that they've got. Where uh, they've obviously, like, done a neat little shader where it's like, draw it when it's within, like, you know, an ellipsoid. But then also, like, they wrote the collider code to act like that. Which is, it's, it's genius, because it's just like, hey, you can do these cool, like, you know, shifting platforms. And it looks really neat. Where? <laughs> you I... <laughs> oh, I didn't think I was gonna get away that easy from that. Oh well. Uh, the tilted angle is just, you know, just an accentuates. I, I, I'm just gonna like speak to the artsy nature of a matter splatter galaxy. Two. It's not deaths, is it? So yeah, you gotta line up the wall jumps. Follow the spotlight! It, it's a real neat concept, I love it. Uh, we'll jump off something. We've got rotating spotlights. You get to just, like, see something in the back. Magic Cooper's gonna give you a bit of a run for your money. And then, uh, yeah, this part makes me cry a little bit. Uh, so you've got these gratings, so you can jump up through them. And now you got a spring. And... Activate the ellipsoid. You could probably jump, like, on top of this before it, like, you know, materializes in. Like that. Except you're jumping through those platforms anyway. But still. Come on, platforms. Where are you at? The spring puts me to tears every time. Dude, it's definitely, like, it's food. Oh, wait, I remembered. I remembered. Wait, do you even have to jump over there? Uh, I guess you don't. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, almost there. Almost there, guys. I could just see it out of the corner of my eyes. Lovely star bits. I, I appreciate that the later levels just chuck you way more star bits. It's a nice balancing uh, feature. Alright. Now comes the tricky part where you've got these platforms and you just gotta wait for the next one to appear. Hey, you, oh, I, I, I don't trust myself there. Oh, oh, the, oh, wait a minute, this is gonna be. Uh, yep. All right, I'm out. I'm free. I'm gone. See ya. I'm into the pipe. Probably just bounce your way up there as well. One last matter part for good measure. Lots of star bits in here, legit. This is a fun passage where you've got a bit of a maze of, uh, of routes. Follow the easy route and you'll get rather shafted, but you can just continue jumping. If you feel confident enough jumping. The jumping is reasonably consistent. Like, you can tell where you're gonna end. You've got your spin to kind of double back. Uh, it's still not at that point that I think, like, they've really nailed with, like, Mario 3D Land. 
where, like, you know, you can really tell where you're jumping. I think it's because there's no shadow uh, at this point, or at least, I mean, there is a shadow, but, it, like, you know, you've got pitch black ground over there. Is that the, the Magic Koopa shot? It was just, like, going real far over there. Ah, uh, do you trust the center again? Ah, they baited you again with this. Three. What am I doing? It's, it, it is me interrupting my sentence, isn't it? That's 100% what I'm doing. I disagree. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll just jump around. Here we go. I'm not sure either. Time to have risk death. I, I've risked death more than three times this stream, I can guarantee that. Oh, dude. Council of Society on the Validity of Three. Uh, fair enough. So, with that, that is a wonderful another 24 stars. Uh, and yes, there are 24 remaining stars left in the game. Uh, I might as well just back up and completely ignore the, uh, the three remaining, like, levels in that dome. By the way, there is no, since there's no grand star, yes, it's, it's only four, four galaxies in that dome, so, uh, the three remaining galaxies are still three star galaxies, there's still nine proper stars to pick up, along with three bonus stars associated with that, but, as you can see, I think you gotta talk to the Black Loom, because Rosalina is gonna take you to the final level, uh, but as you can see from the map, uh, there are still five more levels here, where I've got purple coin comets to do. There's another three here, which means I did seven of the fifteen in this F stream. Wow. Now I want to stream Galaxy 2. I do want to stream Galaxy 2. Maybe not right away, but uh, it is indeed a three. Okay. Uh, and just a checker here. Uh, yeah, I'm missing a bit there, but they're all purple, purple coins. And then, uh, yeah, there's just the remaining three galaxies that I've yet to experience there. Um, so, thank you for ratifying the three. Sure thing. Alright, well, with that, I would like to thank everyone so much for a wonderful stream. This has been real good fun. I've had wonderful chat. I have no idea what these numbers are. Um, so, I'm going to really enjoy figuring out the, the numbers tag it. What do they mean? Uh, but, uh, yeah, if, if you missed a bit of it and you do want to just kind of rewatch it, Twitch VOD always there, but also it's going to be on YouTube, unless you are on YouTube, in which case. Yeah. <laughs> what does the numbers mean, Mason? Oh, wait, no, it's not Tag It, is it? You're Tag It! Wait, are you Tag It, or is Tag It the other? I never, I never played Black Ops, I, someone's gonna yell at me for that one. Uh, the chat got cut off, so I'm sorry, Fair, you saw the I'm on YouTube there. <laughs> um, do I reset the chat, or do I just let it, like, pan up? It is not panning up. Alright, so, have a good one, everyone. Uh, take care. It's the beginning of May. Uh, this chat is going real far off. You just have chat session to discuss your favorite games? Definitely. I'm using Twitch controls here. <laughs> Alright, have a good one, everyone. Easy going.